Hope you enjoyed everything. It looked delicious, all of it. Just saw dessert passing through. Hopefully someone saved it. Just one. All right, we resume our program. You're gonna like this. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome five-time Olympic champion and ambassador of the USA Swimming Foundation, Missy Franklin Johnson, and the first black American female swimmer to win an Olympic medal at the 2004 Athens Games, Maritza McClendon. such a joy to be here tonight with you all back at the Golden Goggles in New York City. We are so honored to have been asked to present this next award to a woman who is a true inspiration, and her name is Carol Zaleski, our second recipient of this year's Impact Award. If you've been around swimming over the last, oh, 45 years, <laughs> like you're likely know of Carol Zaleski. Her incredible service to the sport has been felt at every level. Beginning in the 1970s, as a volunteer timer at a local swim meet near her Pittsburgh family home, Zaleski embodies what, if, what it means to give back to the sport that has given us all so much. Her volunteer service progressed to positions like Eastern Zone Director, and when USA Swimming was officially founded as our national governing body in 1980, Zaleski was elected to its first board of directors. Four decades later, she became the longest tenured member in the board's history, and she is the only individual ever to serve four two-year terms as board president. In the, in the late 1980s, she became the first female member of FINA's Technical Swimming Committee, where she would serve for 26 years as chairwoman, the longest span of anyone in history. She was instrumental in driving the implementation of underwater video review, which is now standard at any major FINA event. Tonight's Impact Award is one of the many accolades that Zaleski has received as she steps into retirement after almost half of a century. Last year, she became the first individual from the United States to be awarded the FINA Order, and last month, she was named an honorary inductee to the International Swimming Hall of Fame. Through every facet of her decorated aquatic career, Zaleski has placed the athletes first. Indeed, this more than anything else has been her mandate. Focus on the athlete. In her own words, she always focused on how to make competition fair and equitable for everyone. It is our great pleasure to introduce your 2022 Impact Award winner, Carol Zaleski. Thank you. First of all, let me congratulate the World Championship team from Budapest. This is the first year in about 30 years that I was not able to be there for the championship to be with you. Of all these lovely things that were said, um, I'll tell you two stories uh, that I told at the International Hall of Fame last month. First is uh, one that I tell in training clinics for officials all over the world. Uh, when my children started to swim, we went to our first AAU swim meet. That was about 10 years before USA Swimming existed. And we got to the competition, and I saw a couple that I recognized on the deck timing. And I said to my husband, oh, wow, look, the Morans are on the deck timing. I wonder how they got to do that. I was obviously very naive at that point in time and uh, found out very quickly if you were willing that uh, there were opportunities. But the point of the story and the reason I tell it at clinics is that 
I thought it was a privilege to be on the deck helping with the competition, and 50 years later, I still believe that. And I think that that should be the attitude of anyone involved, that it is a privilege to be there and to help with the sport. <laughs> the second story is just after I was named to the technical committee, I had a meeting with some of the top coaches in the U.S to say, you know, what would you like to see done differently or better, and how can we improve things in FINA, and so on. And I will always remember dear Richard Quick, who said to me, Carol, I think you already know. If decisions are made based on what's in the best interest of the athletes, good decisions will be made. And Richard was absolutely right. And so as I retire, uh, from FINA. I have said that I hope my legacy in FINA is those two, those two principles. One, that it's an honor and a privilege to be involved and help with the sport. And second, if all decisions are based on what's in the best interest of the athletes, good decisions will be made. So thank you very much. Congratulations to all the athletes. Congratulations to you, Carol, and thank you once again for all that you have done for the sport. All right, a reminder, I trust that your auction bids are going strong right now. Items will be available live online until 10 p.m. Eastern. So this is what I heard. Pour yourself another glass of wine and do not let yourself be outbid. Double it, triple it if you have to, just to be sure.